China and Russia have begun a high-level navy drill today in the South China Sea off Guangdong Province. The Chinese military says it's aimed at enhancing the ability to counter common security threats. Our Wu Haojun has more. The Russian fleet docks near Zhanjiang, Guangdong Province, Monday morning, and Joint Sea 2016 begins. The annual exercise, now in its sixth year, involves the best naval forces from both sides. This year, ten ships from the Chinese Navy, some of them from the Nanhai Fleet, and five from Russia are taking part in the week-long exercise. In addition, Chinese is deploying 11 aircraft, eight helicopters, and amphibious armored equipment. The focus is expected to be on anti-submarine warfare and landing operations on islands and reefs. Compared with previous drills, this drill has improved on organization, command issuance, deployment, and other areas. It will also highlight digitalized and standardized use of forces in combat. The joint drill is of the largest scale in the China-Russia framework. This year also marks the 20th anniversary of the two navies' strategic cooperation.
Starting from 2012, the first China-Russia joint sea exercise was held in China's northern waters of the Yellow Sea. And the following year, they took place in the waters near the Russian city of Vladivostok. The Chinese Navy assembled its largest number of seamen ever for that drill. And in 2014, the third joint sea drill was held in the north of the East China Sea, where vessels from the navies mixed together for the first time and the in 2015 two drills were held one was in the mediterranean sea in may for open sea navigation safety and the other was conducted in august in the sea of japan where the countries held their first combined landing operation This is the fifth time Russia and China hold joint Navy cooperation drills. Every year, the exercises are held in different places and get more complex. Now, this time we are in Guangdong province. These are the headquarters of uh, China's People's Liberation Army's and Navy Nanhai fleet. The task for today is storming of a military stronghold. Apart from manpower, which are elite marine units from both countries, the sides are using armored personnel carriers as well as other equipment. Interestingly enough, Russia's Black Berets are operating within the units of their Chinese counterparts. Now, over the years, the actions of the two navies have become increasingly cohesive, and the language barrier doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. Now, the drills will conclude with a simultaneous amphibious and air landing operation on an island captured by a simulated enemy. And of course, uh, we will be there to cover all stages. For RT, I'm Roman Kosrev in South China. After the two countries completed ground-based drills, they started joint naval operations in the South China Sea, where Beijing faces territorial disputes with neighboring nations and, of course, the United States.